Hello, my name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, and today we're going to get to know a little bit more about cholesterol. So we're going to be pursuing learning about cholesterol and what we need to do to help bring it down to normal levels. Let me tell you a little bit about cholesterol. First, it's not a fat, it's an alcohol. A lot of people have misconceptions about what cholesterol is and what it is not. Do you know your number? Do you know your cholesterol number? Well, a lot of people get really concerned if their number is above 200. If it's 225 or 235, well, my concern for you is the fact if your cholesterol is getting above 230 or 240, you're probably eating too much sugar. Cholesterol is not good. Cholesterol is not bad. Cholesterol is beneficial to your body. It's used in every cell in your body. Cholesterol is actually a steroid. So let's slow down a little bit so you can wrap your brain around how is cholesterol really impacting your body. Your body uses cholesterol to make all the other steroids. Now you can say, what's a steroid, Dr. Bob? Well, I'm sure that you understand when people are bodybuilders, they take different types of drugs to help make them their bodies artificially big. Well, the cholesterol is a steroid, which means it's a building block that can make sex hormones, it can make hormones to break sugar down inside of your body, and it also can make hormones that help your body to absorb minerals better. The big concern today in our society is when you have high cholesterol, they feel that it's impacting your heart and it actually can cause heart disease. I'm not gonna to totally disagree with that because if we see cholesterol levels really, really high, I know you're probably eating too much sugar and too many refined foods that are causing inflammation inside of your body. So let's talk about cholesterol as it could be related to a fireman inside of your body. You know, firemen are very, very important. What do they do? That's right, firemen put out fires. Well, at the beginning of the program, I mentioned to you that cholesterol is not a fat. It's actually an alcohol and it cannot float in water by itself. In other words, it cannot go in blood by itself. It needs a transporter. So if cholesterol would be similar to a fireman and firemen put out fires, how do firemen get to fires? They go on fire trucks. Now I want to explain to you a little nugget. There are two fire trucks inside of the body. There is the LDL fire truck that takes the fireman to the fire, and there's the HDL fire truck that takes the fireman back to the fire house. We think of the LDL as the bad guy. LDL is not the bad guy. The LDL cholesterol is taking firemen to the fire. So if you go to your doctor, you've been having a lot of pain, you're not feeling good, you're depressed, you just feel lethargic, and he draws your blood and he says to you, whoa, your LDL is so high, we need to give you a medication to lower that. Guess what? That's like literally shooting the fireman on the way to the fire. Now listen, this is significant. I'll have patients to come into my office that will have pain in their body once they start taking statin medications. And do you want to know why? Because when you're taking a statin medication, it's taking the cholesterol out of your body that's used to make cortisone. Do you hear what I just said? Here's the question that nobody ever asks, and I'm going to ask you the same question. What's causing the fire? Think about that. What's causing the fire? See, if we could put the fire out, we wouldn't need all the firemen going to the fire. Well, I have found two or three areas that will increase the fire. Number one is sugar. The second one, and this is going to be really interesting to you, is trans fat or partially hydrogenated oils. And the third item that will raise the cholesterol up is ice cream. I briefly talked about statin medications in the first part of the segment. Statin medications work, as I mentioned to you, by altering the metabolism of cholesterol inside of your liver. The seriousness of the fact is if you are taking cholesterol medication, it can cause liver disease. But what really concerns me 
It's taking the cholesterol out of your body that's used to make sex hormones, pain relieving hormones, and mineral hormones. Let's briefly talk to you about those three items. What I have found, the easiest way to help lower your cholesterol so you don't have these side effects with sexual dysfunction or pain syndromes or your low back going out easy is to eat what I call Dr. Bob's ABCs, a half of red apple every day. Do you know you can lower your cholesterol up to 13% by eating a half of red apple every day? Why a half, Dr. Bob? Because I know someone's thinking that because a whole apple has 22 grams of carbs and a half an apple has 11. And we're really wanting you to watch your carbohydrate consumption because the next item also has some healthy carbs for you and that is, are you ready for this? You can lower your cholesterol 40% by eating a third cup of beets every day. And finally, four or five baby carrots or one medium carrot every day. If you eat these three items, Dr. Bob's ABCs, you can lower your cholesterol naturally up to 50%. If your cholesterol is really elevated, you need to sit down and do a diet journal to see exactly how much and what type of inflammatory food that you've been consuming. Thanks for joining me today. Look forward to having you join me once again. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor.